Good morning and welcome back to Carlisle Times 2. This is the Bigger Carlisle bringing you Bloons TD6. And let's knock out some chimps today. So let's see. Let's go ahead and open up our gift for the day. Fantastic. All right. So what are we going to do? We've been using Team Sauda. Let's try a different map. What haven't we used yet? Let's go for four circles. So we're going to go in here and chimps. And let's get rocking and rolling. So let's examine our map really quick so we see there are a couple points here where we can hit something more than once let's see okay spin around spin around da, 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 da. so open close let's go ahead and stick out right in the middle and let's rock and roll let's make sure it's on auto perfect and let's go da 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 so one of the lousy things about uh, this is that, uh, you know, if something gets through early on, you got to wait for it to come around. So we'll go ahead and get a tack shooter down and put it right here just to make sure we don't get anything through. Well, move to a 220 pretty quick. Oh, one got through. That'll be just about it, though. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. There it goes. Let's get this even faster shooting down. I think that should take care of the rest of it. Even faster. Come on, come on. I'm going to go for that one first because I think that's going to help eliminate things going through. Yeah, we'll get to the 220, and then we're going to shift over to our ninja. There we go. All right, so we're going to start saving up for our ninja. And on this map, it, you know, we have a pretty tight map where we can, uh, or a pretty, an area where we can, you know, have a tight team of our ninja, alchemist, Sauda, and Tack. So we'll go ahead and put that down now. Let's go ahead and put it right here. And we'll move this to a uh, 301. Might still get one or two things get through right now. I don't think we're going to get much, but once we get the Alchemist down, it should pretty much eliminate anything sneaking through in these first 40 rounds. So, of course, what we're going to be doing before round 40 is we're going to get our Ninja to a 401, our Alchemist to a 420, and our Tax Cheater to a uh, 302. There we go. Go ahead and get our, let's see right here, I'm sorry, uh, 320, I apologize on tax shooter. Let's go ahead and get our alchemist down. Let's go ahead and put it right here. Covers everything. Let's get it to a 320. Should go pretty quick. There we go. Perishing Potions coming up. Berserker Brew. And then once we get our Berserker Brew, we will shift back over to our Ninja and head up to our 401. Almost there. There we go. Back to the Ninja. So around round 35, we should be able to get it up there. A little bit of time because we're going up to it's a big jump to the almost 3,000 mark. Round 34. And again, in the first 40 rounds or 39 rounds, we're going to get our ninja to a 401, our alchemist to a 420, and our attack shooter to a 320. And almost there we go. Let's shift back over to our alchemist. And once we get to around uh, end of round 38, beginning of 39, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down off of the auto start. And that is to show you round 40 and to get ready to launch Sauda's attack, the, probably the only one we'll use, her ability. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to go ahead and take it off now. All right, we have our stronger stimulant. 
Okay, and finally, we're gonna go ahead and take this up, our tax shooter to a 320, and now we're just gonna wait. Go ahead and save some money. All right, so once we hit 40, we're gonna go ahead and launch Sauda's uh, ability soon as we start it. Ready, go, boom. Okay, there we go. Now let's put it back on auto, and let's rock and roll. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two things. We're going to put down our spike factory. Let's go ahead and put it right here. And let's do a two on the bottom, put it on smart. Then let's move to the top path. One, two, we'll go to a three here pretty quick. So we'll have a three, zero, two. We'll eventually move this to a four, but right now only a three. We head back up to our tax shooter. And we're gonna take this up to its final resting place of a 420. Almost there. Boom, okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to move to our monkey tower. Let's go ahead and put two down. I'm gonna put them right behind our team right here. One and two. Now for the first one on the right, we're going to do bigger radius and then we're gonna do two on the bottom path. One and two. For the, our second one, we're gonna do a zero, one, two. All right. And then what we're going to do right now is we are going to grab our Gila pilot, place it down right about here. And we're gonna put our wizard right over here so it gets to also share in the benefit. So let's go ahead and work on our Healy pilot. Let's do a two, zero, three. Let's get our wizard to a zero, two, two. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to our Healy pilot. So now it's really a waiting game. You know, so as we see, we're going to take it all the way up to a 205, our Comanche Commander, and then we will also be taking our wizard up to a 025 Prince of Darkness. We'll eventually bring this, our Spike Factory, to a 402. We'll eventually bring our Monkey Village to a 302, and our second Monkey Village to a 032. All right, so we're getting closing in. There we go, Comanche Defense, so a 204. And now we're just gonna sit back and wait. We're around 57, so now it's just a matter of time. As you see, nothing's coming through, and if it does, it's gonna come right back past the same team and it's gonna get annihilated. It will not get very far. So the investment for our uh, Comanche Commander is 34 and a half, and then, as you know, the Wizard is actually one of the best paths, you know, one of the least expensive ones. Once we get to our fourth, uh, going on to our fifth, it's only about a little over 28,000 investment. So the combination of these two are affordable and effective. Now, one of the things we could do too, I mean, if we really want to do it, we could alternate and rather than doing the Comanche Commander first, we could always do the Wizard. You know, I like to switch them back and forth. Uh, for this one, yeah, we'll stick with, we'll stick with the Comanche Commander. So we've got about uh, a little over 20,000 left, maybe about 22,000 left. Now, the thing about the Comanche Commander, usually to get there with what we have on the map, we're going to be in the 70s, uh, around in, in the, between 70 and 80 when we get that. Uh, if we were to take the path with the Wizard, we would get there before round 70. But again, uh, because the money just really generates really fast, once you get you know north of 70 and then 80, uh, we'll get the Wizard pretty quick. So what I like to do is make sure I, I, I like to have the wizard and my Gila pilot at their fives by level 80. 
I think if I have that, I'm pretty, pretty happy most of the time. At least with these that we can use SATA. And again, just like SATA, uh, the Heli Pilot is not always a good option for, you know, especially some of the intermediate and above maps because they have multiple entry points. And not only multiple entry points, but they will come in from those multiple entry points, especially as you get, you know, to the expert rounds where you have them coming in from everywhere, five or six or seven different locations at the same time. And so it's not able to effectively, you know, cover that spread. And so that's as we get to those levels and those, I mean, to those different, you know, uh, advanced and intermediate, you know, the advanced intermediate, advanced and expert maps, we will uh, use different strategies, different heroes as well. Uh, now, one thing I could say, though, is that the Prince of Darkness wizard is, you know, a pretty solid, you know, uh, monkey village for some of those maps. Uh, you know, also your druid taking the middle path is a very good one uh, because it has a lot of coverage. And so, again, as we go through these and advance through, we will see these different monkey towers. Again, for these towers, anything I use SATA with, I typically am going to use the same teams. They're pretty effective uh, because, again, SATA is effective with, you know, single entry point maps. And, uh, you know, especially where there is a, you know, a, an early location where everything crosses over more than one time. So here we go. So we're almost at our Healy Pilot going to Comanche Commander at round 75. There we go. So now we have a 205 at round 77. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and work on our Monkey Village. Let's go ahead and take this one to a 022. Let's bring this one to a 202. Start getting some of those benefits. And now we are going to save up for our Prince of Darkness. Now the Prince of Darkness is not too expensive. Let's go ahead and start rounding him up. We get the Necromancer next and we'll have it pretty quick. So it'll be a 0 2, 4 pretty fast. Here we go, almost there, and Yahtzee. Okay, so now, again, it's another waiting game. And what's nice about it is what we have on the map right now is going to hold everything off. So before this is all said and done, this will go to a, our wizard will be taken up to a 025. This monkey village will be a 032. This will be a 302. I might even take it up to a 4 later on. It's not necessary, but I may. And then this will eventually go up to a 402. And that's all we're going to need for this map. So round 81, as you see, it's holding everything off right there. Now, round 90 is where things get real. And you start to see the more advanced mobs and, and different balloons coming through. And a lot of them with, you know, severe intensity. Uh, so, again, it's so very important to have as much in, in place as you can by round 80. I am, I'm sorry, by round 90. Uh, we'll definitely have our uh, Prince of Darkness down. We'll have our uh, monkey villages up to where we want them. And then we will finalize it, round it out with our spike factory and taking that one up. And then we're just going to sit back and watch it take care of itself. Okay, so we're almost there. Round 85, we move it up to a Prince of Darkness. So a 025, that one is done. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move to our Monkey Village. Just take this one up. Well, let's go ahead and do it one more. Let's take it to a 402, that one's done. Let's go ahead and now get our Monkey Intelligence Bureau. Let's make sure we enjoy the, uh, the benefit there of the de camo detection. And really, the spike factory, although it is important to take it up that extra step, is more of a prophylactic. It's kind of like an extra protection on the other side in case anything sneaks through. So now our monkey village is at 032. That's done. We're going to go ahead. Now it's round 89. We're going to get it up to 10,000. But I'm going to go ahead and take it off that part right now because I know we need 10,000 and some change. So you can see round 90 as it comes through. Or attempts. Here it comes. Let's see if you see anything. There it goes. <laughs> okay, well, it was really quick. 
Uh, the Black Moabs, uh, you know, they wanted to come through, but uh, not going to happen. Not on this shift. Okay, so we're getting close to our spike factory, and we're only um, around 92. So here we go. We're about to move up, and spike mines and theoretically this is really all we need to have in place so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna sit back and let it run its way out for the last seven rounds and show you just how powerful this team is see i mean as it comes through i mean 95 is going to be a big one 98 is going to be a big one and then of course the final round will be where it all ends Now, what's going to be interesting about round 100, and I'm just thinking about this right now, is that the way the final balloon comes through, it's only going to pass by this group one time initially, and we're going to have to wait for it to work its way around the loops, and then it's probably going to end up finishing it right at the end. So I think that might be, it might be in that as it goes into the second infinity or eight symbol eight uh, and making that final round by the water up to the upper left that will probably finish it off so we're at 97 right now as you see we're just generating money so if you wanted to put something down you could absolutely do it so here we are at 98 this is one of the big rounds 99 is a pretty quick and, and painless round And of course, 99 is about to start. I mean, we almost have enough for another uh, five monkey tower. Nothing's coming through though. Okay, here we go. So we're not gonna use any abilities. Let's see what happens here. Okay, it's coming around. Okay, so the first curve, Comanche Commander is putting some, some paint on it. So it may actually knock it down faster than I anticipated. There it goes into the Okay, there it goes. Yep, that's what I thought right there. It's going to break up, and I think we are almost about done. It's going to come back around, and that will be all she wrote. And that's all we have. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this has helped you. If you haven't gotten through and this is your first time, congratulations. And, you know, if you have a different strategy or think we could try something else, let us know. Put it in the comments, and uh, we look forward to it. And as always, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And, you know, hit that notification bell when we post. We do post a lot. This is our 101st video. We crossed over 100 recently. Super excited. But anyway, until next time, peace out.